Hey fam. So I'm back outside and my hair is like the same color as the trees now. Um, it's fall now. Since March, we've been in pandemic, in quarantine. That's eight months, okay? So it feels nice to be outside. It was cold and we weren't allowed out, like just hanging around, you know, before, but now found a place, you know, to be quiet and alone in God's goodness and his creation. So that's my video today is my story on how I deactivated my Instagram and my Facebook for many years and um, how it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me. So you can like spend so much time just like scrolling and looking at whatever you're looking at you know especially Instagram it's like next thing next thing if you're looking at one thing like just say bags or something there's a billion next like pictures of bags or travel or cars or whatever you're looking at I don't know but there's obviously a way that they make you want to look at more they pop up new things that will like trigger things in your brain in your head that like okay I gotta keep looking I gotta keep scrolling I gotta click keep clicking you know and if you think of it, like how many hours do you spend on your phone? Like how many hours do you just sit there scrolling, you know? And that's the same thing with Netflix. I deactivated Netflix because you can sit there for hours and hours just trying to look for something to watch and there's nothing ever good to watch. Unless like you've already watched, you binge watched already what you want to watch and then there's nothing else left, you know? So me deactivating my Instagram and Facebook, it was more like, I don't want to be wasting my time just scrolling and looking at other people's lives, you know? You don't even know what these people are going through. They're posting things that are just what they want you to see, right? So like, what's good? I gotta travel to this next place, or I gotta go here, or I gotta show them my next bag, or I gotta show them my next whatever I'm doing, right? But literally, who cares? You want friends and you want people in your life who actually know you for you you know what are you actually going through where have you actually been and did you actually have a good time probably there's times where you don't have a good time but you don't post that you know you don't post that on Instagram you don't post that on Facebook so they make these things where it's like you have notifications and you can like and all these kinds of things now and it's it triggers something in your brain where it's like oh my gosh, they like me, or they know me, or they're my friends, or um, I gotta post more now, you know? You don't know what's real out there anymore. People Photoshop left, right, and center. I could Photoshop this, you know? I could put this in my background, but I didn't because um, I'll show you a real leaf or whatever. You know what I mean? You can make a background, you can do whatever you want on the internet now. You don't know what's real or fake anymore. So the point is during this pandemic, how do we come out of this stronger, you know? How do I not let social media take over my life? Social media, it shows you what is beauty or what is the meaning of life? Like it's to get more and show off more and have more, but be more and more empty inside? No, that's not what life is about. Life is about turning off your phone, turning off your notifications, where you have anxiety because you have all these messages that you need to like um, click on or whatever, just useless things that keep popping up or whatever. You don't need that in your life. You can turn it off, deactivate it if you have to, and just give yourself some time. Like give yourself like a few hours a day or something um, to to check your messages or to check your emails or to message people or whatever you do on the phone. I don't even have my phone with me half of the time. I leave it in my room even when I go out and stuff like that. I don't like having it with me because it brings me no good, okay? Yeah, it, unless I'm like lost or something, I need, I need like Google Maps or something. But other than that, I like to enjoy life. Enjoy the beauty, enjoy the nature. Like orange red yellow green like that is beauty okay this is god's creation the water you know there were some ducks that were flying around but they flew away because i was here you know enjoy the moment enjoy your time take a deep breath like like fresh oxygen fresh clean oxygen you know 
Have some stillness, some alone time where God can literally speak to you. This is where God speaks is in our stillness. When we give him our time, when we're not preoccupied with scrolling, scrolling, scrolling for hours, looking at garbage, you know, checking whatever notifications or who liked my picture or not, you know, and especially because of the pandemic, it's like you can't even show off half, more than half the things that you used to show off. People want real relationships, okay? We're here to have real, true unity, real, true relationships where we can connect with one another on a personal level, not just on a posting and then someone likes your picture, okay? So when you deactivate and don't let those likes and what you got to post and how I got to show off and what do they have and I don't have, where are they going, where I need to go next or... Um, you just don't even know if it's real, okay? People can post like, they can Photoshop. You don't even know what people look like anymore, right? And that's why I like YouTube is because you can't change that. You can't fix your face or like, maybe you can, I don't know, but whatever Photoshop does, but you can't change the content, right? Like it's, I guess you can too, actually. People act a lot, but it's a place for me to be real with you, you know? Just be you, you know? Don't change yourself. Don't change the way you talk. Don't change the way you act. Don't change the way you look. Appreciate and accept who God made you to be, how God created you to be, to enjoy the stillness of his beauty, you know? Enjoy each season, literally. Not only like summer, spring, fall, winter seasons, but we have seasons in our lives where God builds us, he molds us, he teaches us. Um, and then we go out and we reach out or we go out and we unite and we go out and do whatever he calls us to do there's a specific season that he has us okay we don't want to miss out on that season we want to be able to appreciate every moment that he's given us every breath that he gives us we do not take it for granted we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow so let us enjoy today Stop wasting your time on who and what and how many likes and what I got to post and all these things that are just like mumble jumbled in your mind. We're here to enjoy the now, okay? We're here to appreciate the now. We're here to appreciate the stillness and hear God's voice. What does he want us to do next? What does he want us to say next? Where does he want us to go next, you know? It's all about what he wants for our lives, not what we want for our lives, because as we can tell, it's not in our control. You know, the pandemic, we can't go anywhere like we used to. We cannot, but what, what can we do with that, right? For me, like I learned the countries of the map, you know? I finished school. I, um, I learned the Rubik's Cube. I, you know, I make use of my time in enjoying. There's so much more to like learn and do and, just enjoy you know there's so much to be thankful for so go out wear your mask okay wear your mask and go outside and enjoy enjoy I don't know what season it is for you over there but enjoy turn off I learned the Rubik's Cube I you know I make use of my time in enjoying there's so much more to like learn and do and just enjoy, you know? There's so much to be thankful for. So go out, wear your mask, okay? Wear your mask and go outside and enjoy. Enjoy, I don't know what season it is for you over there, but enjoy, turn off your social media, turn off the notifications, delete it because, turn off the notifications, delete it because that's where you will actually have time, okay? Think of how much time you spend on your phone, okay? Not only with notifications, but watching things and um, checking things and your emails and all these things. How much time do you actually um, put into it? Probably 95% of your awake time, you know? And like in the middle of the night, probably when you're asleep, wake up and check it and stuff like that too, right? Put the phone away, enjoy, enjoy life. Life is short, it's temporary. There's so much to look forward to when we look beyond ourselves. When we look beyond, okay, what I don't have, what are, what are they doing, how come this and how come that? No, appreciate your now. 
Be thankful. Give thanks for everything that God has given you. Nature, sunshine, trees, grass, you know? I'll show you. Look at that beauty, okay? We don't take it for granted. Enjoy life, okay? Deactivate your social media. It's the best thing that you could do for yourself.